Well, hello and welcome to this video. Now, do you ever wonder, how do I start to make money from my art? You're passionate about what you do and now you really want to start selling things. Or maybe you've been trying to sell things for a while and it's kind of not getting off the ground. Sometimes it can just seem all so overwhelming, right? So many voices out there telling you, you should do this, you should do that. Try this strategy, try that strategy. How do you ever work out what you should be doing in order to start selling your art? When it really comes down to a few key things, I'm gonna share with you in this video. Well, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie and I help artists just like you to set up, market and grow a successful art business doing what you love. Now, if you'd like to learn more tips and tricks on how to build that successful, profitable art business, then you're in the right place. That's exactly what I share on this channel, all things art business related. Okay, let's dive into it. How do I start making money from my art? Step number one, make sure that you've got high quality products. That might sound really, really obvious, but some questions to ask yourself are, are you really happy with what you've produced? Is it something that you think you're super proud of? Is it the best that you can do? Have you used the most superior materials that you can possibly afford to at this point in your career? Are you always on that learning journey? So you're always taking courses or learning and looking to improve, or have you just kind of done good enough for now and now you want to make some money? Because here's the thing, if you want to create an art business, you really want to make sure that whatever you're making is the best you can possibly make. So you need to look at it with very critical eyes and just say, okay, am I 100% happy? Do I stand behind this? If not, you need to get it to that place where it's as good as you possibly can make it at this point. Now we know that we're all on a learning journey and we know that we're constantly improving. But when you put something up for sale, you need to make sure that the product as a whole is as best as you can possibly make it. Number two, understand your target audience and what they are looking for. This is so fundamental. If you don't know who you want to buy your artwork or your art services, then it's a bit like throwing darts in the dark and hoping that something is going to stick. It's gonna waste hours of your time and it's also likely gonna lose you hundreds if not thousands of dollars or pounds, especially if you do any form of advertising. And trust me, we've all been there. You need to understand your niche, your audience, and of course that ideal customer as well. So don't forget to check out this helpful video on how to find your target audience. And below here, we've also got a link to a free download to help you fill out your ideal customer avatar. Okay, number three, make sure your work is priced to sell and sell profitably. Because if it's priced to sell, we want to make sure that of course you're making a profit. The thing to focus on when growing a business is profit, all right? You can't just put a price tag on your artwork and then somebody buys it if you don't understand the numbers behind it. So you can use my six steps to pricing. There's a link to the video there, watch that afterwards. There's also links to all these videos below here as well to make sure that when you actually price your items, you understand all the numbers that go in, all the costs that are involved in selling a product or service. And then make sure, of course, that you follow this through thoroughly and that when you put your price up and when you sell, you're making a profit and you can sit back and smile happily with the work that you've done. So what can stand in the way? Well, mindset can stand in the way. You finish off your pricing, you put a work up, there's a price tag underneath it, you look at it, and the little voice in the head says, oh my goodness me, who am I to charge that? I'm not good enough. You know, people are gonna look at that and think that's too high a price. I'm not gonna sell, people don't buy art, all these misconceptions that are floating around. And beliefs that you or other people hold, unfortunately, doesn't make them true, which is good news for everybody, right? So there are plenty of people out there buying art. The question is, have you got your work in front of the right people who are looking or ready to buy? And this comes down to all the things that we're talking about today and some of the next steps that I'm gonna talk about next as well. Number four, choose a sales platform where your audience already is. Because at the end of the day, if you build a website, you spend hours of your time and lots of your money putting a website up, unless you're a master marketer and you're sending loads and loads and loads of people to look at that website, it's gonna sit over here all alone with all the beautiful listings that you've put on it. And over here are your audience looking for artwork. 
right? So unless you're really, really good at marketing, you need to find a sales platform where your audience is already looking and shopping, whether that's online, offline, whether that's galleries and boutique stores and art fairs, or whether that's online places like Etsy or Arts Finder or whatever places that your audience might look for work. Number five, you need to create a consistent marketing routine. So we've mentioned marketing briefly. Marketing is a really large piece if you want to start making money from your artwork. You create good artwork, you work out who you'd like to sell to, you work out where they are, you have a sales platform, you have the things going on, but unless you're doing some consistent marketing, they're likely not gonna know you even exist. So some questions to ask yourself, are you somebody who only does marketing just before an event? It's like you don't do anything all year, but you've got open studios, so it's like, oh, quick, better do some marketing. So that's kind of not how it goes, all right? Or perhaps you post somewhere occasionally, or maybe you're not sure what to do, so you avoid it altogether. Listen, I totally understand that. When I first started out, I didn't understand marketing either it's something that can easily be learned and easily adopted and when you do it consistently it can have phenomenal results and should have phenomenal results so when you run a business your best friend is consistency right in everything you do across the board all the little pieces of your business you really want to make sure that you're doing all of it consistently and the most important of those is marketing. You need to create yourself a simple weekly routine that you just do week in, week out. Check out this video that I just made on marketing strategies. It's going to help you with what you should be doing and I'll list other links below this video where you can find out about running a marketing plan and a marketing routine as well. Okay, number six, focus on building your mailing list. If you've been on this channel a while, you'll know that I talk about mailing list a lot. Why? It's the one thing in our business that we own, right? You don't own social media. You don't own all these other platforms that you might use for marketing. The one thing you do own is your mailing list. It's the most important part of your business. So therefore, in the marketing you do, you want to make sure that you focus on growing that mailing list and getting encouraging people off, say, social media onto your list. Number seven, you want to guide your followers to where they can buy. So your job is to tell them, whether that's through your emails, whether that's through ads on social media, for example, or maybe PR, however which way, whether it's through your marketing or through your mailing list, your job is to let your audience, your growing audience, know where and how they can buy. And this is the piece that so many artists forget to do altogether. It's like, well, okay, I'm doing some sort of marketing over here. There's an audience that I've identified over here, but honestly, the audience are likely to be super busy people like we all are, unless you say to them, okay, you can find out more about what I'm doing, join the list to get special discounts, and then you send them out regular emails, and you say, okay, today I've got a special offer for you, it's for 48 hours only, that's where you get a little discount off my work, or come to my studio to get the special studio discounts, or go to this link over here to get an early bird ticket on my workshop, you know, unless you can actually let them know where and how, and it's very easy to buy, this is what you need to do, here are the steps. If you see a painting on the website that you like, click here, do this, do that, do the other, all right? You need to make sure that people understand where and how they can buy your work. Number eight, make regular offers, special discounts, and those things that we were just talking about, but do them on a regular basis. Make sure that the people on your mailing list are rewarded for being on the mailing list and they get first dibs on any special offers or those early bird tickets, right? You want to actually foster and look after the people on the list and you want to do this regularly. People don't read every email, so don't be afraid to be sending out quite um, regular sort of bi-monthly or monthly offers because some people will have missed the first one and then they see the second one. Timing is everything, remember? And also here's a lovely old adage that they used to tell us back in the day about marketing, which I still think is true. People need to see something seven times before they see it. So don't be afraid to send emails, to put ads, to put posts. Your audience will only see maybe one of those things rather than all of it, okay? So don't be, don't be afraid about bombarding your audience with information. If they're the right audience, they would like that information, okay? They've joined your list because they love your work and at some point they're gonna buy something. That neatly leads us on to number nine, which is look after your existing customers. Did you know that 80% of your future income is gonna come from 20% of your customers? 
Therefore, instead of looking for new customers, new customers, new customers, what can you offer to your existing customers that they haven't already got? So looking after your customers and building that relationship with them, making sure they're happy with their purchase, the chance of them coming back and purchasing again is really high. So we want to remember that number when building the business because I think it's too easy to say, oh, I've made a sale over here, now I'm going to ignore that person and I'm going to look over here for new customers, new customers, new customers. The only challenge with that, of course, is if you sell through a third party platform that doesn't allow you access to your customer information, then it can be a bit challenging. But there's usually a workaround or a way around that anyway. So in the end, it comes down, of course, to your motivation to follow all of these steps and to just take action. It's perfectly possible to make a living from your art and for you to start making money from your artwork, you need to be following these simple steps, right? Get focused, carve out some time in your diary, go back through the video again, make sure you follow each of the steps and I'm excited to hear the sales that you start making. So don't forget to post below this video if you've enjoyed the content, you've used one of the steps or all of the steps that I've talked about today and just started to make sales. If you've loved the video too, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because that really helps other artists to see these videos and more. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on another one.